Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to talk about the general availability of Windows 11 version 24H2. So as of May 2nd, 2025, Windows 11 version 24H2 is now fully available for every computer that meets the minimum system requirements in all supported markets. Initially, version 24H2 was first launched on June 18, 2024, but it was only available for Copala Plus PCs since this release includes some of the key components for this new type of devices. Then, on October 1st, 2024, the feature update became available for regular non-AI computers, but only some devices were able to upgrade to the newer version. Since then, Microsoft has continued the gradual rollout and now, starting on May 2nd, the Windows 11 2024 update is available for all compatible devices, as the company has finally reached the last phase of the gradual rollout. All of this means that you can now manually download and install the new version of the operating system through the Windows Update settings and clicking the Download and Install button. However, if you don't update manually, eventually, if you have the Home or Pro editions of Windows 11, version 23H2, 22H2, or even 21H2, then version 24H2 will eventually download and install automatically. Now, my computer is already upgraded to version 24H2, but if you never completed an upgrade manually, you just need to go to the settings app, and then you're going to find the option right here on this page after you click the check for updates button. You might also see that option to upgrade automatically without having to check for updates. If you don't see the new version and you already clicked the check for updates button, make sure to turn on this feature. And if the new version is not being advertised to you, then it might be because your computer is still not compatible with the newer version. Now, on Windows 10, you just need to open the settings app and then on update and security, Windows update, you're going to find this notification and from here just click the download and install button and as you can see now version 24h2 is the version that's being offered now it is important to know that at the time of the announcement windows 11 version 24h2 still has some known issues that microsoft has already confirmed but they haven't been resolved yet so if you check for updates and the system detects an incompatible issue, then the new version won't be available for your computer. Now, if you plan to upgrade, I do recommend creating a full backup of the computer in case something goes wrong and you have to roll back. If you're not ready to update, you don't have to go through the steps and you might also be able to block version 24H2 by modifying the system policies. Check the video description that I have a link to the video tutorial on how to do this. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that you might be able to postpone the update as long as you can. However, it's important not to skip a new version of the operating system since it contains new enhancements, changes, and features that will improve the overall experience and security. Finally, Microsoft also notes that while the new version of the operating system is fully available, other features such as Windows Recall, Click to Do, Semantic Indexing, and others will continue to roll out gradually for Copala Plus PCs. Now, you can also check your current version because you might already have version 24H2 and you might not know about that. So one way that you can do this is by opening the settings app and then go to system, open the about page, and then confirm the version under Windows specifications. And that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about Windows 11 version 24H2. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.